Can I get a thumbs up? <laughs> Can I get two claps and a Ric Flair? <laughs> Does he? Woo! So if you and I, if you plant a flag in the ground and you and I sit here and we're and I'm on the same page and I agree with you right and then at that point at that point it's not you at that point it's us that's right and if we're wrong we're wrong yeah take our lumps we'll lose on that one we'll move on to the next one yeah by far the bigger thing that scares me is us not being aggressive enough mm -hmm. I would rather spend a thousand dollars and be wrong about something that going into it we really felt confident in right then not spend those thousand dollars yeah and 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 rob ourselves of the opportunity that maybe we're right risk reward yeah i mean this goes back to something that we've talked about for a long time which is you know i want to play offense not defense i'm not saying you should just go Really, nearly plant flags in the ground that you don't believe in. Right. But planting a flag that you believe in and being yeah. wrong is a lot better than being okay. ambiguous about it. All right. In my mind, that's the way. Maybe other people see the world differently, but that's the way. That's the lens at which I, you know, that I use. And and I think that maybe you know maybe this is surprising because I know some of the other conversations we've had has been very numbers driven. Mm -hmm. And I am very numbers driven, and I'm very analytical on stuff. But I would say that I, I I have a pretty good intuition, and I tend to trust my gut and then try to back it up with data yeah. versus letting the data drive my decisions. Okay, so I've got something for you um, that I would like to go over with you because in a past conversation you expressed wanting to see more of a breakdown of like numbers and understanding of how things work. So, what I have here, and if you have any questions whatsoever, please ask away, because I want you to fully understand this. This is our scanning hours for last week. We have an expected 180 hours. hours. Actually worked is 418, but actually worked is probably more like just under like 399 hours. So, I keep my scanner in here till Yeah, so this is some, like this is an area that you can directly impact as you go through with your team and, you know, as you understand this, you can explain the importance and then push them to either get here on time, make sure they are getting here on time, monitoring that and make sure that they're getting their full 40 in. Based on the difference in the max capacity and project, you know, what actually what we did, mm -hmm. um, that's a weekly loss of just under $5,000. Oh my goodness. That's a monthly loss at $21,000. Oh my goodness. Okay, now what I didn't put in here is... Times 12 on a yearly loss. That's over a quarter million dollars. That is insane. And that's just for scanning. That's just for scanning. Holy cow. So I gotta whip everybody into shape then. From, from these guys' perspective, they're like, oh, it's just like a half hour early. Like, not a big deal. So and if you look at it, like, in that micro, it's not a big deal. Like, it's, that, like, huge impact. But if you do that over the course of 12 scanners, over the course of a month, over the course of a year, that adds up very quickly. I wanted to show you this just so you know what I showed her. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I then... I think it makes a lot of sense. And I, like, I don't, like, I don't want to be a company where we're like, you have to be in here at your start time and, like, work your hours. Like, I like that we have the flexibility. I think that's a benefit that we can offer. But it's important that we're pushing our guys to work the 40 hours. What I was going to say is, it, it's just, it's about grinding on these little things that don't, like, that's the real, <clears throat> that's the real trick. You know, five percent here, ten percent there. So of of time. Yeah. So I went through that. Yeah. It's and I get it, right? Like you're on the floor, you see the people, 
30 minutes here, 30 minutes there, it doesn't seem like a big deal. Or you don't even, I mean, at that point, I don't think you even notice it. And I mean, every, every workflow that we have, whether it's photo or video or print, there's capital invested in physical equipment. And every minute that those aren't running, where it was allocated to be running, is lost opportunity. And I think it's easy to say, well, but if this person leaves a little bit early, it's off the clock, so we don't incur that cost because they're an hourly employee. And that's true. But the cost is this small in comparison to the lost opportunity. Mm -hmm. That's the real challenge is not only recognizing those things, but then staying super diligent about paying attention to them. Because they are, it's like 10, it's not one big thing, it's 10 small things. That's my cousin. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone, if you're enjoying these videos, press the button here to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up down below.